welcome to another course in the Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Interconnectivity and Linking. I'll be presenting the steps necessary for adding links to your mobile app. Using MicroStrategy Web in design mode, we will add links to a mobile app. After watching this video, you should be able to understand the different types of links and how to incorporate them in your app. For this lesson, you will need MicroStrategy Web, an iPad with MicroStrategy Mobile, and access to a project you can modify. You will add the following links to an app. A link to a website, a link to another document in the app, and a link that passes selector values to another document in the app. Links are what transform your project from a collection of documents to an app. You can use links to connect dashboards to each other or to send the user to an external website. This is the home screen of an app for a company that uses call centers to sell retail items. We'll add a link so that the employees using the app can easily navigate to the company website. To add a link to a document, open the document in MicroStrategy Web. To use a text box as a link, Right-click the text and select Edit Links. Then fill in the details in the Edit Links window. To use an image as a link, right-click the image and select Edit Links. And again, as you might suspect, fill in the details in the Edit Links window. When designing for mobile, it's a good idea to make tap zones large so that even users with big thumbs will have no trouble using the app. In this case, we would want some area outside of the company name and logo to be tappable as well. In order to create a link with a large tap zone, insert a, a transparent image and extend it over the area where the, you want the user to be able to tap. Then make the transparent image into a link. On the Insert menu, select Image. Then drag on the canvas to insert the image. In the image area, paste the URL for your transparent image and click OK. Next, resize and position your image to create your tap area. Right click the image and select Edit Links. In order to create a link to an external website, select Navigate to this URL Enter the URL for the website and click OK. Now we can save the document and test the link on the iPad. From the home screen of the app, click the Storewalk logo or company name. The web browser opens and displays the rather user-unfriendly company website. I think we can safely say that the design of the mobile app is much better. You can use Edit Links to link to special screens in an app. To link to a special screen, right-click an image or text box and select Edit Links. In the Links window, select Perform This. Then, in the drop-down list, select a special screen. For example, you can use a link to send a user to the Settings screen, the Status screen, or the Help screen. The most important role of links is to enable interconnectivity within your app. We will add a link to the home screen that takes the user to the map document. In MicroStrategy Web, in design mode, open the home document. Locate the map image, right-click it, and select Edit Links. In the Links window, select Run this report or document, then click Browse. Locate the document you want to link to, which in this case is Map, Click OK. Click OK again to close the links window and then save your document. When we test the link on the iPad, we see that clicking Map on the home screen takes us to the Map document. For now, we're using a heat map as a placeholder in the Map document, but the idea is to add a bubble map in the future iteration of the design. Now, let's think about adding more interconnectivity to the app. Suppose we want to support the following workflow. 
In the map document, the user taps the call center for more information. An information window displays some data along with a link to the call center sales document. The user can click on the link to navigate to a document that can provide information about particular call centers. The user selects a call center from the drop-down list to view data for that call center. As it stands, this app is poorly designed. When the user has already selected a particular store on the map page, she should not have to select a particular store again in the call center sales document. We can improve the app by creating links that are more dynamic. There are two ways to use the links window to make links more dynamic. Passing prompt answers and passing selector values. For information about passing prompt answers, see the Working with Prompts course. We're going to make the link to the call center sales document more dynamic by passing a selector value. Here's how the feature works. When a link is in a panel stack that is targeted by a selector, you can use the link to pass the selector value to another document. Note that in this example, the link to the call center sales document is in a panel stack targeted by the heat map, which is also serving as an attribute element selector. This enables us to pass information about which call center the user tapped to another document in the app. We have two options for passing selector values. We can match by source attribute or by control name. Matching by source attribute means that selector values will be, will be passed depending on whether selectors are based on the same attributes. The other option, match selectors by control name, will only pass selector values to the selector with the same name. Let's use the first option and match by source attribute. I've saved the document and opened it on the iPad. As you can see, when the user clicks the Call Center Overview link, the document displays with the appropriate call center selected. Now we'll see how you would use the Match Selectors by Control Name option. I've modified the Call Center Sales document to contain two different attribute element selectors for the same attribute, Call Center. App users can view information for two call centers side by side so they can compare call centers to each other. Let's see what happens when I tap the link to, on the map page. We've passed the selector value to the selector on the top as well as the selector on the bottom. But that is not the right selector behavior for this context because the point is for the top of the document and the bottom of the document to display data for different call centers. We can improve the app by passing the selector value to only the selector at the top of the call center's document and not the selector at the bottom. We can do this by matching selectors by control name instead of source attribute. Switching back to MicroStrategy Web, we want the selector in the map document to be matched with this selector in the call center sales document. In order to match them, we're going to have to give them the same name. So right click the selector and go to properties and formatting and remember the name of the selector. Now switch back to the map document. The heat map is the attribute element selector for which we want to pass values. We're going to give it the same name as the selector at the top of the call center sales document. Right click the widget and go to Properties and Formatting. In the Name text box, enter the name of the selector to which you want to pass the value, then click OK. Then, edit the link to change the selector passing behavior. Right-click the link and select Edit Links. In the Pass All Selector Values drop-down list, select Match Selectors by Control Name, then click OK. Save the document, and now we can test our app on the iPad. As you can see, when we tap the link, the selector value is passed only for the selector at the top of the document, 
while the selector at the bottom of the document retains whatever value it had when we last saved the document. In this lesson, you learned how to add a link to the external website to your app. You learned how to link between documents within your app, and you learned how to make these links more dynamic by passing selector values. In future iterations of your app, consider where you can replace links with panel stacks or information windows. Making more information available from within a single document can produce a better user experience, provided that you keep your screens from becoming too busy. You may also want to consider when to use prompts instead of passing selector values. For more information about these topics, see the following courses. Working with panel stacks, information windows, and working with prompts. And that's a wrap for this MODA course on interconnectivity and linking.